What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I am at Aquaflora. I will be here all week just to take care of um, our tanks, the tanks that are on the showroom. Um, some trimming, maintenance. Um, so first let me show you the 60 centimeters. This is the tank that I am talking about. It's a 60, 30, 36 centimeters by Bet Aquarius. Uh, also with the Twin Star 600 EA. Um, on the background, we have um, light round. This is from a Polish company. The light round allows you to um, have your background illuminated. In this tank, we have some Frodo stones from Adam Pastella. Uh, plants, we have a mix of Rutalas, Rutala H. Ara, Yaohai, uh, Orange Juice, uh, Rotundifoli, Rutala Green. Uh, there is also some Busphalandrus that I already trimmed. Uh, Dianubius, they were with some algae, I had to trim it also. Uh, the foreground carpet is uh, Liliopsis, uh, Nova Zelandia. And, um, in the layout, this is uh, almost all the plants used. Um, inside of the cabinet, we have a EIM Professional 4. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it does 600 liters per hour. And um, as you guys can see, this is the intake I took it from my home. I said on the last video that I'm going to put it here and it works like charm. Uh, does not have the problem I had in my tank by sucking all the air and get trapped. The CO2 is being released uh, on the outflow by using uh, EIM uh, Direct 1216. Yes, correct, 1216. This is the CO2 system that we are using here from GBL with the solenoid. Uh, here the, the, the bubble counter is uh, with nothing uh, or at least it's not counting but it's still working because I had to clean the hose and there is no water on it so I need to open a little bit this let water in get in and then close it again but it is okay this is a thermal filter the temperature on this tank is 24 degrees usually um, part of the maintenance or the fertilization routine is based on the flourish potassium uh, using the same fertilization routine that i have explained on the video as you can see on the plants they are looking uh, with color healthy and beautiful um, maybe you guys want to check the fertilization routine and give it a try if you want to try that uh, be sure first you trim your plants and then you can change the fertilization routine and see if it works well for you so this is uh, this tank uh, how it looks like uh, for now i'm going to keep going on uh, other maintenance i'm talking about all these two and plus one more over there and this is it for now the 60 is done uh, i just need to get the fish from the 120 because uh, when i did some uh, extra maintenance uh, overdosing with excel i didn't want to cause any stress on the livestock so i took all the fish from here only remaining some shrimps but the shrimps are still okay they are more resistant than we think they are so i need to get on the 120 that is there it's full of livestock so i need to take part of them and put again in the tanks they were before and uh, later on i will record another video about this one with the livestock on it so stay care and see you in the next video